The iPhone 15 Ultra will demonstrably display the power and efficiency of an Ultra smartphone. As you can see from our first early glance at the iPhone 15 Ultra's Apple A17 Geekbench 6 benchmark result, this is quite fantastic. It is the first gadget to achieve a single-core score of more than 3,000 and a multi-core score of close to 8,000. When compared to the Qualcomm Agent 2 inside the S23 Ultra and the Apple A16 in the iPhone 14 Pro, it jumps and scores quite heavily. The 3 nanometer design allows for all of this power increase while maintaining a 20-25% to power efficiency. Not only will this be the first phone in the world with a 3 nanometer processor, but Apple is also gobbling up all of the next-generation 3 nanometer chip orders from TSMC, leaving nothing for Samsung, Qualcomm, and MediaTek for the time being. Apple will probably retain the undisputed status of being the battery drain test champion thanks to the next-gen methodology. Love them or hit them when it comes to the chipset market, Apple is without a doubt the inventor. What more can the A17 do, except meet those criteria, you ask? Well, according to rumors, Apple will use the A17's additional powers to improve its camera. They might perhaps introduce a new photonic engine too for even better picture processing, 8K video at 4K 60 frames per second for the first time on an iPhone, and other features. It is undeniably a tremendous leap in performance, which Android cannot now match. Hopefully, Qualcomm will release its 3 nanometer 8 Gen 3 chip by the time the Galaxy S24 series is released. The first hands-on look at the iPhone 15 design mockups, which revealed some unexpected details, is also breaking news. Although the latest iPhones don't seem to be backward compatible with the earlier cases, the iPhone 15 and 15 Plus appear to be. Older cases probably won't work with the professional iPhones since they'll feature solid-state buttons and larger camera lenses. The general form of the phone hasn't changed much, although the pro versions of the iPhones could use superior materials such titanium. Additionally, a charging connector that seems to be significantly bigger is shown. Yes, the iPhone 15 series will support USB-C. Again, owing to the rules of the European Union, I'm extremely interested to see how Apple will announce USB-C on stage. Will they do anything different? Probably, yeah, it will be a sight to see. Finally, but certainly not least, to genuinely qualify for the Ultra level the iPhone 15 Ultra needs a genuine periscope camera system, which Apple must offer. The most recent rumors, however, are once again pointing to a folding camera that doubles as a periscope lens. It would be fascinating to see if Apple can introduce 10x level zoom or just go as far as 6x level, as prior speculations suggested. Finally, what are your thoughts about it? So with that been said let me know your thought in the comment below and if you are new here please subscribe peace out.